Most of the systems we've been working with up to this point have only had two equations and two unknowns, usually x and y. But let's say we were given a much bigger system. Let's say it had three equations and three unknowns. How would you solve a system like that? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. So here we've got a system 2x plus y plus 3z equals 23, 3x minus 2y plus z equals 17, and 5x minus 3y minus 4z equals 12. So the approach that we're going to use, you could actually use either approach that we've studied already, the addition method or the substitution method. I won't go into a lot of details with each of those. Um, I'm assuming we already are comfortable with both of those, but you could solve this one using either of those methods. So maybe you can watch me do it one way. Maybe you can try it another way at your, at your desk. So with this one here, I think I'm going to teach through this video how to use the addition method to solve this particular system. So here, here's the, the big picture concept of what we need to do. We're going to try to eliminate one of the variables, either the x's or the y's or the z's. Um, for example, when I look at this, this guy right here, I notice that if we combine the first two equations, and yes, we, we might have to tweak some coefficients and that sort of thing, I think we can pretty easily get rid of the y's using the addition method. If we multiply the top row by 2, you'd have a 2y and a minus 2y. And when you added those two equations together for the addition method, you would eliminate those y's. All right, so that's one thing I see. But then I also see if you combined the first and the third equation, I see there's you could also eliminate y's because you have a y and a minus 3y. For that problem, you could multiply the top equation by 3 and get a 3y and a minus 3y. So now what's that going to do for you? Well, when you do the first sum in orange of the first two equations, you would get a new system that had x's, z's, and constants because the y's are gone. And when you did the uh, combine the first and third rows, you would get a new um, equation that has x's, z's, and constants also because the y's get canceled. So that will give you a smaller system to proceed with. That's the idea. So once you knock this down to a smaller system, then it turns into one that we're comfortable solving and you can finish it out. So if that doesn't make a lot of sense, just watch us go through the process and, uh, and you'll, you'll, you'll see where we're going with this. So just to give us some more space, I wrote this again on, on the next page. Um, I'm also going to use some notation for your notes that will help you remember this later. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add the first and the second row. So the notation goes like this. We're going to take 2 times row 1, right, 2 times row 1, and we're going to add that to row 2. 2 times row 1 added to row 2. So we're going to take this guy 2 times row 1, and we would get 4x plus 2y plus 6z equals 46. And we're going to add that to row 2, which I'll copy again. 3x minus 2y plus z equals 17. We're going to add these together we would get 7x, the y's would cancel, plus 7z equals 50, 63. Right, 63. Right. Um, notice that guy could actually be simplified. We don't have to do this. It's certainly not necessary. But you could factor out a 7 and get x plus z all times 7 and then divide that 7 over to the right hand side 63 divided by 7 is 9 so so let's take this guy we'll, we'll hold on to it we'll put it in our pocket now that's not a final answer we don't know x and we don't know z because it could be 9 and 0 or 0 and 9 or 5 and 4 or 6 and 3 we don't we don't know but it, it only has two variables which is a good thing let me change colors all right, next we're going to take, um, and by the way, let me, let me um, just, uh, I'm not going to erase them, but just don't worry about the twos that we added in there temporarily. Just look at the, the greenish blue equation there, the original one. 
Now let's combine the first and the third equation, the first equation and the third equation. To make the y's go away, I think we would need three times row one added to row three. Three times row one give you three y added to row three, which has a minus three y. So to distribute a three through the row one, you would get six x plus three y plus nine z equals, let's see, 69. And the third row has 5x minus 3y minus 4z equals 12. Okay, draw a line, add those up. You would get 11x. The y's would cancel. When you add the z's, you would get 9z minus 4z, so you get 5z equals 69 and 12 make 81. Okay, so we'll have a new equation here that again just has x's and z's. We'll be we'll have 11x plus 5z equals 81. All right, so if you look at this equation uh, and the equation that we got just a minute ago, this guy over here. Um, what, what just happened here was we had a giant system that had three equations and three unknowns, and we've just now reduced it to a system that only has two equations and two unknowns. It should be easier to solve. So let's take these two, I'll go to the next page, and we'll see if we can solve this smaller system here. So we have x plus z equals nine, and 11x plus five z equals 81. All right, so let's see, we'll take um, x plus z equals nine, and 11x plus five z equals, um, is it 81? Let me check real quick. Yep, 11x, five z equals 81. Okay, so let's try to solve this system here. Now, I think I'll use the elimination method again just to keep everything consistent. Um, we can either eliminate the x's by multiplying the top equation by negative 11 or eliminate the z's to, uh, by multiplying by negative 5. E either one's fine with me. I'll, I'll eliminate the x's. So we'll multiply the left side by negative 11 and the right side by negative 11. Okay, distribute the negative 11 through. We'll have negative 11x minus 11z equals negative 99. Okay, um, we'll uh, mark out this top equation so we don't get confused by it. All right, now let's add these two equations together. These two will cancel. Um, neg uh, 5z and a negative 11z would give you negative 6z equals negative 18. And there we have it. Z must be 3. Great. So that's one of the three values. Okay. From here, it's all downhill. Now we just have to backtrace and figure out the y from z and the x from z. So you can use any old equation. It doesn't matter which one. Um, just right here on this page, I think we can go ahead and find the, the x value because we know that x plus z equals 9. So I just took the z out and put 3 in its place since that's what z is. So the x must be 6. Great. So the dominoes start falling very quickly once you get the first one. And then we can use that x and that z to find the y. So x is 6 and z is 3. So we can use something something on this page here. Um, doesn't matter which one. We'll just take any one. I'm I'm thinking the first equation in that in that greenish blue there. Let's see what. Let me erase this to make some space. All right, that should be enough. All right, we had two x, which was two times six, plus y plus 3z, but z was 3, I believe it was. Yeah, z was 3, x was 6, um, equals 23. 
So 12 plus y plus 9 equals 23. I'm sorry, I'm running out of space here. Just got a lot of work to show. So erase all this. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so tw y plus 21 equals 23. So I think y is 2. 12 and 2 make 14, 14 and 9 make 23. So we have our, our final answer. So let me carve out some space. And let's jot down our final answer for this system. Okay, we had a, a solution for x, y, and z. The x was 6, the y evidently is 2, and the z is 3. And we can check this, and this is a lot of work, and if you slip up one small place with a minus sign somewhere, or an addition or subtraction error, the whole thing you know, goes wrong. So we can double check this by taking 6, 2, and 3 and plugging in those three equations, which I'll leave for you to do. But anyways, that's how we solve a system of equations with three equations and three unknowns.